full match highlights. Christopher Mason, the man with the whistle. And Portmore United coming forward early. Alex Marshall with the right foot off the crossbar and over. Good opportunity. Eric Edwards a little off his line. And he had the crossbar helping him out. Edwards. Then Kahim Dixon with a sublime touch to set up this strike. Going for the far corner but couldn't quite find it. A little bit too central with the strike. But what a game here. Then Stephen Barnett. Oh so close yet again for Portmore's number 24. Should have finished it off. And luckily for Arnett, the woodwork was here to save them. Then this off the chest of Barnett. Eric Edwards doing enough. Portmore turning on the pressure in that first half. And then this moment, look at that touch from Alex Marshall just to set it up. Rowe should have finished it. It came off the upright and then barreled off the chest of Philando Wing. Own goal against him. 1-0 Portmore in the 41st minute. Rose, I'm not sure how he managed to miss that Rose. It looked like it came off the heel. Should have been an easy tap-in. But it all worked out for Portmore in the end. 1-0. Then this Willie strike at the start of the second half. Williams made it look easy. But we have seen what Willis can do from that kind of distance. Then Fabian Reed finding a little bit of space and getting off a strike, which Williams saved on that occasion. Then look at this save from Tyrone Williams. Smith, a dink inside the arrow. Great chest control from Fabian Reed. Thought he had the finish, and Tyrone Williams said, no, not yet. Arnett kept on the pressure. They kept coming forward. Philando Wing showed his patience, picked out Reed, and this time wasn't about to take a first touch or hesitate. Went one time with the strike. Tyrone Williams unable to reposition himself. And a goal for Arnett, 1-1. Fabian Reed, 85th in his Premier League career, 11th of the season. Arnett, all square after 82 minutes. And they continued to press the back line of Portmore. Jamon Shepard with the strike, which was going wide anyhow, but Tyrone Williams touching it around the post. And again, the quarterfinal ends one all. All square after 90 minutes, all square in terms of shots. Six on target for Arnett Gardens, though, from their 10 attempts, just a three on target for Portmore. It was a better second half for the junglists. 14 fouls shared equally between the two, just a one yellow card to Akila Howard. Portmore custodian Tyrone Williams made five saves compared to Arnett Gardens three and majority of the possession for Arnett Gardens at 53 percent over Portmore United's 47 but after 90 minutes here at Sabina Park it's all square Arnett Gardens one Portmore United one DJ Williams has our man of the match none other than Emilia Rousseau yeah, Emilia Rousseau, today's man of the match. Emilia usually get man of the match for a wonder strike or a great assist. But this time it was for an excellent defensive performance. Talk us through how tough that game was. Yeah, you know, playing against Arnett, it's always a tough match. But we, take, we get the early lead and slack off in the, in the last half. But the pick, didn't pick up the goal scorer. And we know that he's a dangerous, he dangerous when, he's, when he's in the box. So we we'll just have to work on that and come back again next week. All season, Portmore have been one of the best defensive teams in the league. How far do you think that can take you in this league, especially with the dangerous attacking players you have? Yeah, you know, the aim is to go um, right up to the championship, and that was, that's what we're working for. Yeah, and you have a really talented squad. Even Siobhan Walsh came off of the bench today. Talk us through his talents, how good do you think he is? Yeah, he's a wonderful striker. Unfortunately, he didn't get any clear-cut chances to give us um, the lead. But um, next week, I, I definitely I believe that he will be on the score sheet. Well, great performance today, gritted performance. Best of luck next week. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Emile Rousseau there, excellent defensive performance from him. Really key to this Portmore United backline. And he, Proved that time and time again today. So many blocks, 
so many great defensive efforts, not only from Emilio Rousseau, but so many defenders on your team, Coach Philip Williams. Coach, yet again, you got the lead versus Arnett, but you let it slip later on. Yeah, yeah, disappointingly so. I think Arnett played a good second half. Um, we gave them too much space in the second half, and they, they, they took advantage of the spaces. Um, but, I mean, um, we, we, once again, we, 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 we did what we wanted to do in the first half. So it's a matter of um, going back to the training pitch and, and try to sort out our second half. Yeah, coach, in the first half, your team was extremely aggressive in the press mm -hmm. and also getting the ball forward very quickly. Was that a specific instruction or did you just see Arnett there for the taking? I mean, that definitely so, but I mean, um, to, to press like that is very difficult to do over 90 minutes and um, the, legs, the legs went um, in the second half, I just saw, and Arnett took advantage of that. Yeah, and uh, even one of your talisman, Alex Marshall, looked a bit more tired than he usually is. How are you going to how do you plan to make the boys recover and come back next week? I mean, uh, we have a, a decent staff that knows, 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 knows their job and they, they, will, they will do what they need to do to, to get the team up and running for the next game. Um, it's, it's, it's a playoff. I mean, it's one all, all to play for in the second half. So we definitely have to put aside our pain and our focus on the job that needs to be done. All right, coach. Good defensive performance and best of luck next week. Yeah, man. Thanks much. Yeah, coach Philip Williams there. Coach of Portmore United is first foray with Portmore United into the playoffs. It was a very competitive game against this man and his team, Coach Xavier Gilbert. Coach, a very similar story to the last time you played them a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the first half, not too good, but in that second half, what changed for you? Yeah, we made some adjustments, um, some tactical adjustments, and um, it paid dividend for us. Um, unfortunately, we only managed to, to put in one tonight, but I, I thought we created some opportunities in the second half, and I mean, should have been a little bit more clinical in front of goal, but that's the nature of it. Um, Happy that at least we, we, we're heading into the next leg, um, not behind. Yeah, coach, not to try and give away some of your tactical changes, but as an analyst myself, I noticed that a lot of your players were coming much more central in the second half. Was that deliberate to try and overload those areas in the second half? Yes, it was. Um, yes, it was. I was going to add to it, but no, I don't want to give out too, too much things, you know. But yeah, as I said, we made some tactical adjustments. Um, it, was, it was working. Um, and unfortunately, we just, we just failed to... to, to um, capitalize on some opportunities that we created from it. But um, again, as I say, we have to work a little bit harder, um, try and keep a clean sheet. And then hopefully we can, we, we can make one. It's going to be tough next week again, but um, both teams are going to prepare and um, hopefully the fans are entertained tonight. Yeah, coach, and before the game, uh, I spoke to you about your squad and your strength of it, your depth of squad as well. And I think that really came to the fore, especially with the substitutions. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, everybody is working hard. I mean, we get, we're getting some players back from injury, some still out, but um, nevertheless, everybody is, is, is working hard. Um, and it's important that you, you, you manage your, your unit that you have and give some of them um, playing time during regular season, because when it comes down to this, you never can tell, you know? So um, it's good that some of them um, withstand the pressure earlier. And I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the schoolboy, um, Shadiko Wizard tonight, you know? Um, he did some good things. Yeah, coach, um, doggy performance, good comeback, and best of luck next week. Yeah, thanks, appreciate it.